Good evening. Thank you for joining us for Local 5 News at 6. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. It is one of Green Bay's most popular food trucks, a mainstay at festivals and fundraisers for police. The owners of Little Jamaica are picking up the pieces because their food truck caught fire. Uh, fortunately, nobody was hurt, didn't spread to the bar. Local 5's Timothy Lateau tells us what's next. It takes years of effort to create your world. I built this by hand. And it takes no time for it all to fall apart. It was all ablaze and yelled to my wife, called 911. A Tuesday night fire claimed Darren Wilson's Little Jamaica food truck. This is a huge setback for Little Jamaica because it's the main kitchen we have here. The fire department told Darren that the fire started at this stove. My wife said to me that um, there's, a, there's a silver lining in here somewhere. It's covered by smoke, but I'll look for it. What he's not looking for is financial help. I'm not going to go set up a GoFundMe. I don't need that. Uh, there's a lot more people in Green Bay that needs help. Darren already has more than he ever expected. I got my GoFundMe already. I, I'm here in the U.S. I wake up to a beautiful family. I wake, I have, we have a beautiful business going. From a guy that was once homeless and make it to a point where you got more than one home, it's, those are the little things that make you stronger. It will take Darren some time to rebuild. This won't stop us from being here. We're, we're going to be here for a long time. But he doesn't need a second to lift his spirit. If you want to help me, help somebody else. Because he never lost it. In Green Bay, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. Thank you, Tim. Oh, I bet they're going to get some help, don't you think? Mm -hmm. uh, beside helping others in need, as he just said, uh, the owners say that bringing your business to their bar would also be welcome support. And they expect to be back serving food tonight.